Volunteer first responders are in short supply. That's why some are looking for a solution to make sure every North Dakotan receives emergency care when needed. Erica Craven has more. Since the early 1970s, responders with the Wing Rural Ambulance Service have been prepared to help those in need. Volunteer EMTs now head out on roughly one call each week. Car accidents, fires, someone falling down the stairs, medical calls. Four EMTs man 24-7 coverage and have other jobs to boot. It's just to the point where we can't cover how we need to cover for the, our district. Because of the strain to resources, the team is working with the state to transition from ambulance service to quick response unit. Wing responders are still prepared to help. If we are there and able, we'll respond to the scene, assess the patient. But another ambulance service, most likely Wilton, will take over transport duties. We will have some delay in an ambulance service arriving to transport. EMTs say most areas won't feel a difference in response time, save for the outskirts of the district. And there's a positive in the change too. As a quick response unit, we can respond directly to them from our home. So we can start assessing and, and um, helping with um, basic care before that ambulance arrives. There are 105 quick response units in the state. This is the, probably the best way that we can still be active in our community with emergency medicine. The two ambulances and the equipment in Wing will be repurposed to use with the quick response unit. In Wing, Erica Craven reporting for your News Leader. The transition for Wing's service into a quick response unit takes place at midnight. Wing is seeking people who would like to become EMT and EMR certified for the unit.